Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Pastor Ron Stevens, and I am so excited today because I have a very interesting uh, concept that I would like to share with you called the Compound Praise and Prayer. We're talking about the power of prayer and how to pray more efficiently. That's what this session is all about. How can we be more efficient in prayer? We know that in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse number uh, 9, that Jesus gives us a model of how to pray. In fact, we often refer to this as the Lord's Prayer. But actually, it is a, a model prayer that Jesus gives us, and he encourages us that men and women ought to pray in this manner, in this fashion. And he gives us some concepts that we should embrace when we, when we pray. This training program is designed to improve our prayer life. What prayer consists of is it's a two-way communication. It is a dialogue. I'm talking to God, and God is talking to me. It's not a monologue. It is a dialogue. And God has given us the tools to have an enjoyable, enjoyable dialogue with him. Here's what Jesus tells us to do. When you pray, he says the first thing we should do is recognize the Father. So Jesus says, when you pray, say, our Father who art in heaven. Secondly, he says that when you pray in this dialogue, he wants us to recognize his name. Hallowed be thy name. Then he says, the third concept, I want you to recognize thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done. Look, the will of God and the word of God are synonymous. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it, as it is in heaven. He goes on further and says, now give us this day our daily bread. The fourth concept is that Jesus is telling us that our Father is a giver. And he gives us the provisions and the things that we need. All right? Give us this day our daily bread is the fourth concept. The fifth concept is to forgive. And forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors or giver. And then the last concept he gives us in, our, in, in this prayer model is lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So he is a deliverer. So in this model prayer, the Lord's Prayer, we find, we find six concepts. We find the Father, which is paternal. We find the name, which has to do with power. We find his will or word, which has to do with priority. We find giver, which has to do with one who provides provisions. And we find forgiver, one who pardons. And deliverer, one who gives us protection. Look, I'll write those down as well. So the father is, he is, he is paternal. Paternal. The name has to do with power. Power, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, has to do with prior priority. Give us this day our daily bread, has to do with provision. And forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debt hearts, has to do with pardon. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, has to do with protection. Your, your, your prayer should consist of these basic concepts. Paternal relationship, the power of God, the priorities of God, the provisions of God, the pardon of God, and the protection of God. Jesus has given us a wonderful model, a wonderful model for, for prayer. Now, today we're talking about a com compound praise prayer. The, the objective is to take this prayer and to use it as effectively as we can in our, in our prayer time with the Lord. And so that, that, that means that we're going to connect it with another word, with another biblical word what we, from what we call our ABC list. Here's our ABC list, and our ABC list consists of scriptures from the Bible 
A to Z. For example, well, here we have uh, A, that, that God is a, he's an almighty God from Genesis 17 and 1. He's, he's almighty. B, he's a blessed God from Luke 1, 6, 8. Uh, C, he's a caring God from 1 Peter 5 and 7. So we find that we have an ABC list, and we'll have another session uh, that, that there is another section that talks about the ABC list. Here's what we want to do in this session. We want to take the Lord's Prayer and to create a compound word, a compound word that will be used in our, in our prayer. Now, what we will do in this session, we're going to use our name, and with our name, we're going to create a, a, compound, a compound praise prayer. Let me show you how this works. Here you see the name Curtis Elam. Curtis Elam. The name is the name is C U R T I S E L A M. This is Curtis Elam. I'm going to ask each of you to write your names as well, and then you're going to assign a word to each of the alphabets that's in your name. In this case, Curtis Curtis Elam here. It's Curtis Edom. It's Q. I spell it here now. It's vertical. It's Curtis is spelled horizontal here. C on the alphabet list is caring. So here I would write the word caring. U is unlimited. So on this list, I would go to unlimited from Exodus 3.14. He is unlimited. I said an unlimited. He's an unlimited God. R is ready. So we'll put ready. T, he is true. Write the word true. I, he is, he is inspiring. So we go to Job 32 and 9. He is, God is inspiring. S, we find on our ABC list, the word is saving. So God is saving. All right? E, we find he's everlasting. So we write the word ever, everlasting. L, we see the word loving from 1 John 4 and 7. He's a loving God. A, we see almighty. He is all. He's almighty. And then M, we see the word he is also, uh, he is also mighty as well. Mighty from Isaiah 9 and 6. Mighty. Okay. So, it is, it is our name, Curtis' name, we're, we're using C-U-R-T-I-S-E-L-A-M is Curtis. And we have these words that we are, uh, we, we are using from our um, ABC list. Now here's how, this is how this works. We take the Lord's Prayer here, you see this, and we take... We take Curtis's, Elam's name. So father is, he is a, he is a caring father. And when you pray, you, you put, now here's the compound word. You are a, you are a caring father. You get that? You are, I thank you because you are an unlimited father. You are a father who is ready, ready to, ready to save. Ready to, ready to deliver. And I think it's important. If we go to Nehemiah uh, 9.17, we should understand something about the, the, the context of readiness. But my father is a ready father. We take the word true. He's the true father. And here's the praise prayer. All right. I'm praising my father for being an inspiring father. So the inspiring father. He's a saving father. He's an everlasting father. A loving father. An almighty father and a mighty father. And I'm going pretty fast with this, but I want you to understand the concept. So we have taken the father and we have used this name Curtis Elam, that, that is those as an outline to focus on just the father, a paternal father, that relationship. So now we go to the next letter, which is name. That, that name, that, that powerful name is a caring name. So we take these same alphabets and we say he's an it's an unlimited name. What name? The name of Jesus is an unlimited name. It's a ready name. It's a true name. 
It's an inspired name. We're taking the letters in Curtis Elam's name and we are ascribing them now to the, the, to the words that Jesus gave us in the Lord's Prayer. This is what we call it a, it's compound. We're taking two words and connecting them together. We're taking the words in Curtis Elam's name and the Lord's Prayer, as we find in Matthew, in Matthew chapter number six, and we're putting those two words together to come up with a compound word. So in this case, if we finish this, God, is, his name is a saving name. We talk about God's saving name. As we pray, as we talk to the Lord, it's a saving name. Not just a saving name, it's an everlasting name. It's a loving name. It's an almighty name, and it's a mighty, and it's a mighty name. So we focus on the name. Then we go to the next concept, which is will word. Thy will be done, thy word be thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And so in this case, we do the same thing. It's a caring, it's a caring kingdom. It, it's a it's an unlimited kingdom. Or you can say it's an unlimited will or unlimited word. In this case, we'll go unlimited word, unlimited will. It's a ready kingdom. The kingdom of God is ready for us. It's a true kingdom. Uh, it's an inspiring kingdom, a saving kingdom. And so we're gonna, uh, it's an everlasting kingdom. It's a loving kingdom. It's an almighty kingdom. It's a mighty kingdom, all right? Then we go to the word giver. We do the same thing. What kind of giver are we talking about? Well, a caring giver, an unlimited giver. Can you see that? It's, he's a ready giver. He, he's, a, he's a true giver. He's a, and what I would do, I'd put one finger here to hold it here on giver and let this finger go down the list. Caring, a ready giver, true giver, inspiring giver, saving giver, everlasting giver, loving giver, almighty giver, mighty giver. Now this hand goes down to the next word, forgiver. He's a caring forgiver. Talk to God about being a caring giver. He's an unlimited. If you would like to obtain a copy of the ABC prayer list, please go to our website, templechurchofchrist.com, under the resources tab, and you will find a copy of the ABC prayer list. Oh, an interesting technique, but it's a compound praise technique. And as you, as, you, as you declare who God is by the way of a compound word, I know I'm going a little fast with this, but you take your time and begin to define that relationship. For example, he's a mighty deliverer. Well, what is a mighty deliverer? Well, he protects me in a mighty way. You praise him, and then you declare what he's able to do uh, based on that concept. Look, this is a technique or method to be used. The only technique that's really necessary in prayer is faith in God. However, these tools will help you as you navigate through your prayer. I hope that this has been helpful to you. God bless you, and let's stay in prayer.